Welcome to the second sales funnel video in the JVZoo training videos. In this, I'm going to show you what the buy buttons do and how they're very special. Now, if you have a product that's not a part of a funnel, then uh, back on, let's go back to the uh, seller's dashboard here. You could click buy buttons right here and get a list of buy button designs that are automatically generated by JVZoo or a code that you can use for your own buy button graphic. However, those buy buttons are very different than the buy buttons in the sales funnel. That's because JVZoo uses the buy buttons from this page to, de to determine sending people to the upsell rather than straight to their receipt after they buy. So if you have a sales funnel and you're using this in a promotion, you need you don't just want, you need to get the buy buttons from the funnel page. So each one of these products, as you can see, has a blue buy buttons button. Let's click one. This is for the front end product. This opens a page where you can select the sales funnel that's used. If this product appears in multiple sales funnels, it will automatically be selected to the one you click from if you went from the sales funnel page. First thing we see is the no thanks link. This is the link you put at the bottom of upsells and downsells if people don't want to buy. Now this is a front end product, so we won't have a no thanks link in most cases. Actually, I've seen one case where it did, but you, we're not doing that right now. So you can, you can ignore that. And you can get all of these in HTML or in BB code if you're posting on a forum. Now let's scroll down. We've got something like 15 or 16 different buy button designs. You pick the design that you want, and then copy the code. This is what you put on your sales page, and it will show this buy button. If you're doing a dime sale, it will have the additional dime sale text saying only three left at this price, or two left, or whatever it is, and it will increment the price accordingly as people purchase. And down at the bottom here, we have the link for using your own button. If you want to use your own button graphic, note that it will not be updated with price changes. You have to do that yourself or have a buy button that doesn't have a price on it that just says click here to start or click here to begin or you're using a graphic belcher button if you don't know what that is. Google it, B-E-L-C-H-E-R. It's a very common, very effective graphic buy button design. If you want to use one of those, you need to use this link here. And I'm assuming you know some HTML. If you do, you can see that all you need to do is copy this and uh, let's click out of there. Replace this capital text with either your text or your image. That's your buy button. If you don't put your buy button in with this code, it will not count your stats. You will have problems. You will have affiliates complaining. So you want to use this. If you just want to use one of their buy buttons, do the easy way, which is what I do most of the time. Just select the one you want, put it on your page. When you're done, you can go back to your sales funnel and get the buy button for your next item. This would be the first upsell. So we go into that. This is one that we do want to have a no thanks link on. So we copy this. We put it on our sales page. Of course, you can change the text in the no thanks link to say, no thanks, I would rather do it the hard way or how whatever marketing message you want to have. But make sure that this no thanks link is in there. If you don't, it won't properly bring people through the funnel and it won't properly put them to their sales receipt and you will get customer support requests like crazy and you don't want to have that. So that is basically what you need to know for sales funnels.